Good evening, Palm families. It's Mrs. Carbajal. Um, I want to welcome you to week three of our distance learning for the rest of the school year. I do want to walk you through a, free, a few resources that we have on Palm's website and as well as the district website. So if you would just open up a tab on Google, you can see my um, wallpaper here is Palm Elementary. If you could just click or type in Palm Elementary, if you don't already have it saved onto your computer, Palm Elementary, Hacienda Heights, and click onto Palm Elementary on our school loop, and this is our website if you haven't seen it already. We have a few topics up here, a few titles. I do want to show you that we, I just posted our Staff Appreciation Week, um, Spirit Week schedule. If you could take a look at that, I also just sent it on Remind. We have a few photos here from our Virtual Spirit Week from last week. But I really want you to focus in on our distance learning tab here. So what we have done is we have created a page for every teacher. And so I want to go ahead and click on to, we'll use our first one, TK, Mrs. Acosa and Mrs. Velarde. If you go to their website, you will see that there are a few pictures um, of their students that parents have sent in that we wanted to go ahead and post, which we'll be updating often. You have access to their email here. Both teachers have access to their email here. And then you also have a previous lesson or learning plans that the teachers have posted since the beginning of April, since we came back from spring break. So if you were to click on to this link, it will take you directly to distance learning for Palm Elementary TK the first week after spring break. They have the little welcome letter and then their activities of the week. And then on this one, you can actually click on the link and it'll take you directly to the video. So this is Jack Hartman. I actually do this with my daughter as well and the kids really enjoy it. So let me go right back to our distance learning. So that is uh, Mrs. Okosa and Mrs. Velarde. So here on the left hand side are the live links for TK. You can uh, go back three weeks on the actual page itself, I just clipped and um, posted the lesson plans for the week. So you can see Monday through Friday exactly what it is that they um, would like parents and students to complete. Again, you cannot click the live link here. You have to go to the side here to go ahead and click on it and then it'll take you to that um, PDF and then you can click on the links. You can access any other teacher on the left hand side here as well or you can go back up to the distance learning tab and access their page from here. But every single teacher uh, works very hard every week to provide the learning plan of the week to me and then we go ahead and update it here per grade level. The other distance learning tab I want to focus in on is at the district website. So if you go to the district website, hlpschools.org, they also have a distance learning tab. And on their distance learning tab, the first one I want to go to is info and resources. So if you look at info and resources, which we are here, the one I want you to click on is ClassLink Clever and Zoom Tutorials. So I have been getting, um, remind text messages or emails uh, just on how to access that um, those like class link how do i log on to it and whatnot so some parents have had difficulty logging on to zoom um, or joining their teacher meetings so if you click onto any of these links it will take you to an actual youtube video that our district tectosis have created for that specific purpose. Um, so they walk you through the entire process. They are actually very short um, and straight to the point and they walk you through the entire process. But I do feel um, this is a really great resource if parents have additional questions on ClassLink, Clever, or Zoom. The other distance learning tab I want you to focus in on is the actual distance learning portal. So distance learning. You, we have hours at Palm that you can navigate for every grade level, but let's say um, your child doesn't 
um, they finish early or you would like your child to be a little more challenged or you want them to review, you have the options of going to different grade levels. I'm going to click on, I'm actually going to just scroll down so you can see if you need a laptop to access curriculum, you click here. The surveys do need to be completed by May 2nd if you haven't already done it. If you're having difficulty with the device, you click here and they'll walk you through that process. But I'm going to go ahead and click on to grade the first grade. And here it will take you all the way back to when we first um, were released for school um, dismissal and it'll take you back to the packets that we created for all of our students. You also can then access, this was weeks one through three, you then can access week four which was April 13th, the week we came back from spring break, and you click on here. And our um, district TOSAs have created lesson plans for the week as well. And so here you can click on to the link and it'll take you to the activity or to the video that um, you are to follow. So I think this is going to be very beneficial, especially as the weeks progress and when summer comes up, if you feel your child needs a little bit more review, if you want to challenge them, you can go to a different grade level or if you feel that they just need a little bit more review, a little bit more time on grade level material, you can go to um, grade level, any grade level you feel is necessary for them. So again, these are just a few little resources that I did want to share with you um, based off of distance learning. Uh, we hope that you will find these resources helpful. We hope that you will use them and navigate our websites. We are updating it constantly, so we have up-to-date information for you and, of course, our distance learning website here to, so we can have as much information for you on a weekly basis. And then don't forget, you can always click onto any link, any web page, and it will give you the teacher's email address as well. So you have many different areas where you can access curriculum and contact teachers. I hope you are all doing well, you are healthy, and I can't wait to create another video so I can share with you more resources. Thank you.